Hi guys. You hear Sage crying in the background? I am taking you today grocery shopping with me in Japan. Um, first, let's get Sage situated. Hey. Hey, sugar booger. So this little guy is Ampan Man. His name literally translates to bread man and he is a superhero from a children's book series. You can think of him as if Superman and Mickey Mouse had a baby. He literally is everywhere in Japan. Also, this is what chicken wings look like when they don't feed them growth hormones, just in case you were wondering. Here are a variety of rice crackers, which are a super popular snack in Japan. You can find flavors from salty to sweet to savory to a mixture of all three. Gotta get my favorite pancakes. <laughs> and now to walk down the aisle that I always walk down and never pick up anything because it's just very overwhelming and the flavors are outrageous. However, whenever I usually do try I tend to actually surprisingly like the crazy flavors that they have. They have pizza, taco, octopus, like everything in the book. Now on to my favorite food of all, and that is bread. <laughs> so fun fact, the Japanese word for bread is actually pan, which is the same as Spanish. Um, so the bread culture here is actually just as large as the rice culture, believe it or not, and I completely understand why. It's literally like biting into the softest, most yummiest cloud you've ever, ever bitten, if you've ever bitten a cloud. <laughs> so loaves are actually differentiated by the thickness of the slices, and that will determine how many slices are in each loaf. In the back of every grocery store, you will find a deli where you can get sushi platters, bento boxes, curry, fried rice, fried chicken, onigiri, gyoza, all of the above. And they're very, very affordable and quite yummy. Honestly, I would have thought that this was gross before coming to Japan and probably never would have thought about buying, but they take care, so much care and put so much TLC into their food in Japan that it's no different here. It makes for a great, easy, lazy dinner to put together. <laughs> okay. So typically when checking out in the grocery store, the cashier will transfer your items from the basket you shopped with to a new basket and you'll bring that over to the bagging station where you will bag your items on your own. Um, you do have to pay for plastic bags here. Most people will bring their own reusable shopping bags, but if not, they do offer some for you to purchase. 
Also, if you've ever had a cashier bag your items for you, then you know that, wow, it's like an Olympic sport the way that they bag them so perfectly. I didn't even think it was possible. America needs to take some notes. <laughs> Okay, so, sorry if the lens is making noise, um, it does have lens focusing, but sorry I couldn't really talk to you guys in there, it's a really small supermarket, and Japanese culture is very discreet, so I didn't want to be rude or disrespect anyone, and I still even felt weird having my camera in there, <laughs> but I was trying to get some decent footage, I'll probably just do talkovers on that, um, but yeah, this specific supermarket is a chain of Sane, San A, which is like um, it's just a big corporation in Japan, and they own a bunch of grocery stores, malls, and things like that. And I used to go to this one my first year living here before I got married. Um, I literally used to live right down the block. Um, so yeah, I will give you guys a little grocery haul to give you a bit more in-depth detail of what I actually bought when I get home. So see you guys later. Alright guys, we're home. Um, I had to feed her and change her diaper twice before I started unpacking the groceries, which is not ideal, but mom life. But let's just get straight into it. So first I'm going to start with the meats so I can put them away. I got some three little fillets of silver salmon. This cost like 400 yen, which is less than $4. I got some skinny boneless chicken breast, some tonkatsu, which is like a breaded, fried, I think they fry it, pork cutlet. It's so popular in Japan, you eat it with curry. I'm planning on making like a whole curry dish. And then I also got like a chicken katsu, which is like the same thing, but chicken. I'm gonna see which one I like. I've never got these from the grocery store before. Usually we just order these like as um, like eating out. But which one should I make today? Let's do the chicken today. I'm gonna put these in the way. Be right back. I never buy Japanese rice, okay? I am Puerto Rican, so I make my rice like not Asian style. Um, however, you know, I wanna have some variety, but I don't wanna go buy the whole five kilogram bag of Japanese rice, so they have these like. Uh, packs of rice that you, I think you can just throw this in the microwave or in the pan either or and it's like super easy and it's like one to two servings each so clutch so I'm gonna make this with the curry and the chicken katsu then I got like two little packs of kimchi which is like a way of fermenting a food in a sense um, whatever vegetable you want to do it could be kimchi cabbage kimchi pickles Oh, kimchi, cucumbers, whatever. Then I got some bacon bits for salads. Haven't had those since I was like a kid. My favorite, I love these. I don't even know what it's called, but it's like garlic and it's kind of like kimchi garlic, kind of. Or I don't know if it's kimchi, but it's like really good. It's very flavorful. Delicious, honestly. Love it. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. My favorite granola in the world. Oh my gosh, this granola is then I love these things so much. Look how cute is this? So they package it individually so that all you have to do, you don't have to measure. Like this is a serving. It makes, I think it makes four pancakes. Like what? How dope is that? I discovered these a few years ago. Okay. And they won't go bad with the humidity because my Aunt Jemima always gets like stuck together and stuff. My favorite. Calvi chips, sprinkle some tapatillo, and squeeze some lime. Mm. If you watched my um, Americans trying Japanese snacks with me and my husband, we tried these. I love them, clearly. I bought them again. So good. And then look, I never seen this flavor. I always try to grab a new Kit Kat flavor whenever I see it, like something 
that's different because they have so many flavors that you can. I'm gonna interrupt this broadcast. Oh man, I ruined the beautiful packaging. I'm kind of sad about that. So they smell. Ugh, they don't smell good. They smell like artificial strawberry and like toys that I used to have when I was. And look how small they are! Oh! That's crazy. I don't know how they do that, but it literally tastes like sparkling wine. <laughs> What? But it doesn't have like the strong alcohol flavor. It's like just very like light and like airy. Ew, Sage. Just spit up <laughs> all over the floor. So I would rate that mm, five and a half, six out of ten. It was good, but it's not like something I would crave or like really want to eat that much. And then here we got my eat. Mochi or mitarashi dango. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between the two. It all depends on like the type of flour I think and the way that they're made. But it's pretty much like a rice, rice flour treat. And this one specifically is drenched in a sweet soy sauce. I know it sounds so weird, but it's really good. Oh, so good and like it's very soft. And then last, we got my favorite bread ever. This bread is so good. Look how thick each slice is. Like, it's delicious. And that pretty much sums up my little grocery haul. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hey, ring the bell. <laughs> Tell them, right? Tell them to subscribe and follow us for more. I might let you guys know how the dinner comes out later. Hi guys, it's Brittany from the future. As I'm editing this, I just wanted to let you know that we in fact did not ever eat these hamburgers and they went in the trash. But E for effort, right? Next, we wait for the curry to be done. Doesn't look extremely appetizing, but trust me, it is. The chicken was made in the air fryer. This was the curry I showed you guys, and then the rice was the microwave rice. Super easy dinner. This girl over here being extra, she wants my attention. Bye, catch you next time. Toodaloo!